Mm-hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. <so laughs> it's easier to chop something off the end of a video, right? Yeah. Okay, so here's the rotation. How that we're doing that. I'm about to get a chance to use those um, those video editing tools I saw in Yahoo. I don't know if they work. So I don't know if you guys do this or not, but well, if you're my brother, you could derive this on your own in high school. Like Bill sat with a copy of QBasic and our PC Junior, and he fiddled with combinations of sine and cosine until he figured out what it took to um, to make vectors rotate. <laughs> he built this little graphics emulator thing with the PC Junior that we had, and uh, it, 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 it made like a little wireframe house that would like rotate around, and then there's this little dude that would walk in and out of it. It's like a stick figure, but I don't know, it's very cool. He then later realized what he done what he had done was to discover these matrices through just explicit tinkering. So if you're in with enough time on your hands and the proper geekiness, you, you could discover these too. Um, anyway, that's how you do rotations with matrices and vectors. All right. Now um, there are some advocates for turning on notation on Wikipedia who say with great vim and vigor that no, this is not the right way to do rotations. And if you really want the proper gaming experience, you must build the engine <sighs> over something like this. Um, so p bar is equal to q p q inverse. Um, and then here the q is the rotation. And it is built as e to the, let's see, you're getting straight to the point, e to the, the doo -doo. oh, come on, would you? Theta over 2 for us, um, k. Now, what that means is sort of analogy to Euler's formula. That's cosine theta over 2 um, plus k sine theta over 2. And to me already, this is weird because you see in the ordinary vector way of thinking, the rotation is just p bar is equal to the rotation times the point. You don't have to do rotation mathematically by some sort of almost similarity transformation. But in the quaternionic notation, that apparently is what is done. And I'll show you how it works. So this, what is q inverse? Well, it's just a conjugate, okay? So what this is, is cosine theta over 2 plus k sine theta over 2. The point P is just um, xi plus yj plus zk. That's an arbitrary point. You know, it's in the, in the, with the bursars. And then over here, you've got cosine theta over 2 minus k sine theta over 2. And then multiplies out. So you'll multiply faster by just doing it rather than copying what I'm doing. So, so let's collect together all the things that have i. I've got cosine theta over two. What else do I have from? What else do I have in terms of i in the product of this and that? That's it. Oh wait a minute. J times k is i. So I have a minus y sine theta over 2 times the versor i. Then what do I have for j terms? For j, I have y cosine theta over 2. And how else do I get j? I don't. So that's it. <laughs> how about k terms? Oh, I'm an idiot. I. Wait a minute, I missed something. I think it's minus k. Uh, so I should have plus what? Plus x sine theta over 2, right? And then what else do I have here? I got k cosine theta over 2, right? Oops, cosine theta over 2. Do I have anything else? Oh, k squared is what? Minus one, right? So I actually have z sine theta over two minus, or rather plus z cosine theta over two, right? 
might have made a mistake there. But it wouldn't be a K factor. K times K is just minus one. Oh, right, right, right. So that should just be this one, and then that's just a plain Z cosine they never do. So it's Z cosine theta over 2 times K, what was it, plus Z sine theta over 2? Mm. That's right. Now multiply this. <laughs> what? So um, this one's just the real term, right? And so in terms of things that get me I, I have what? I've got x cosine squared theta over 2. And do I have anything else that, that gets back to an I term? How about k times what? So I get minus y cosine squared theta over 2, right? Minus x cosine theta over 2 sine theta over 2, all times i. Oh. And so, I will, I, will, I will stop here. I will just show you that the x component matches, OK? <laughs> yeah, we'll be content with that. What is this? Cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta when I worked out before. Then you have another minus y cosine theta over 2, sine theta over 2. Yeah, I ended up with x in both. Um, oh. I seem to have made a mistake here, guys. I don't know. This is what I got when I worked out before. It's not just faster. There's something about if you're 
doing not just one rotation, if you're doing like a whole sequences, the whole sequence of rotations, you can take like a path through Quaternion space and it gives you some sort of smoother interpolation of graphics or something. Anyway, these things and more are described in the Wikipedia article. I will shut up about them as this is of course a number theory, not computer graphics. Somewhere deep in the bowels of this is the explanation of the four square identity geometrically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not there yet. 